It's Luis bringing you a helpful tutorial for 4-H members, leaders, parents, and volunteers that are participating in the 4-H Food Challenge. This video, hopefully, will give you and your team improved efficiency in calculating your cost of your dish and in calculating your cost per serving. Hopefully, it'll give you more time to focus on prepping your dish or your creation, give you a little bit more time in prepping for the interview, and ultimately help build your confidence to better represent your dish and your team. So let's get started. This video is one of several videos designed to help you and your 4-H Challenge team build your skills in this project area. So you're gonna need some supplies. You'll need a worksheet, something like this here. You'll need a calculator. Uh, hopefully it's a good working calculator, whether it's a solar calculator or battery operated, either one, but make sure it works well. You'll need some pencils. Uh, mechanical pencils are ideal because you've always got a sharpened point you just got to make sure that they have lead and also be sure to have a good eraser you, every contest will give you some kind of documentation a receipt or a list that has prices of those items that were purchased that are on your ingredients list this example you can see this is a receipt but it's actually been modified a little bit uh, to reflect what you might get at the contest be sure that this receipt or everything includes those pantry items that you may add to your recipe okay so those are the things you'll need aside from everything else you need for the contest but for this specific part of uh, the calculation these are some things that you'll need so let's look at the worksheet this is the worksheet this does not have to be the worksheet you use this can be uh, something you create on your own. Many teams create their own worksheet, but I think what's most important is that the columns uh, be represented, that you have these four columns that will help you figure out and calculate quickly what is in your dish in terms of cost and ingredients. So if you look, column one is the ingredients. This is pretty easy. Uh, you're provided the actual ingredients and perhaps a printed list of the ingredients. But what's real important is not only that you provide the list of the ingredients, but how much of those ingredients did they give you? For example, they might give you a banana. But most of the time, bananas are purchased by the pound. So the list might indicate you're getting one banana, which is about a third of a pound. Other ingredients might be more obvious. For example, one 15 ounce can of kernel corn, list whatever you're given as your basket of ingredients. Remember, if you're given a pantry item, you'll have to add that also. You'll need to know the amount, how many cups, ounces, etc., of the ingredients and the cost. So, list one banana and one 15 ounce can of kernel corn in this example. We'll show you a couple of examples on how you might have to figure costs a little later in this video. Column two is the total cost of ingredients provided. Now in this example, you can see that we've listed a banana and in parentheses, it shows a third of a pound. Column two, the total cost of ingredients provided. The total cost of ingredients provided column is what it costs for the full amount of ingredients that you're actually given in the contest. Going back to the banana example, if you're given one banana, which is about a third of a pound, and the receipt indicates that bananas cost 99 cents per pound, then the total cost of ingredients would be one third of 99 cents, or 33 cents. Remember, you may not use the entire banana, in your dish but you need to record how much you're given and how much what you're given costs so your cost per serving comes later here's another example going back to the corn if your 15 ounce can of corn was a dollar 35 then you would list a dollar 35 in column two regardless of how much you use as long as you're given the entire can now, if you're given half a can of corn, say seven and a half ounces, in a container or some kind of portion cup, then you'd list 67 cents in this column, which would be half of the dollar 35. 
Remember, it's the total cost of ingredients you actually receive. Now, event organizers are trying to be efficient and cost effective when providing ingredients. Remember, this is not some high dollar LA studio recording. This is 4-H and we are very cost conscious. This is where the receipt you're provided is really, really important. Look for that information, cost and quantity. Look carefully, receipts can be a little tricky. Here's an example receipt. Item number 14 shows yellow bananas, 2.38 pounds, that's how much was purchased at one, which represents one pound for 48 cents. So for this receipt, whoever purchased the bananas, they purchased 2.38 pounds at 48 cents a pound, which comes to a total of $1.14. This is just one example. You can look through this receipt and see some others. Here's a different receipt. Here, for example, you see small avocados, two, that means they purchased two at three for a dollar. So if they're three for a dollar, that means each one is 33 cents. So there's two of them, so they cost 67 cents for the two avocados. So depending on how many you actually receive in your basket when you compete, you're gonna have to look at the receipt very carefully, okay? Here's another example. If you look right here, it says package of salad. It doesn't give you a quantity. It just gives you a package of salad for $4.78. So somewhere in your list of ingredients that you get, you may be told that you're getting half a package or the package is eight ounces and you're getting half a package. So you have to figure that out uh, yourself. So half a package of an eight ounce package would be four ounces and so the cost of what you received would be half of this $4.78, which amounts in this example to $2.39. So look at your receipts carefully, highlight, circle, all of those that are important to you. Column three, amount of ingredients used, represents how much of the actual items you received you actually used in creating your dish. This can be a bit tricky at the 4-H Food Challenge event. This column is very important. So we'll go back to our examples. You're given a banana that costs 33 cents, but you only use half the banana. Your amount of ingredients used is simply a way to help you remember how much you used in your dish or your creation. So you can put one half in that column of the amount of ingredients used. If you use four ounces of corn, which is about half a cup, you would put one fourth in the amount of ingredients used. Why? There are four four ounce measures in the entire can. Wait, if you put one fourth of a can then four measures would equal 16 ounces and the can is only 15 ounces. Well, you're right. Remember, this is a close estimate. You want to be as close as possible, but you might be a few cents off. That's okay. You just have to be able to explain how you calculated the cost of your creation and the cost per serving. Okay, now that you have all the amounts used, you can calculate the very last column, which is column four, cost of ingredients used. The key word there is used. Don't make this any more difficult than it needs to be. Take column two, the cost of ingredients provided, and calculate using the portion of that ingredient that you actually used to calculate the cost of that ingredient in your creation. The banana, if you used half the banana and you received 33 cents worth of banana, then your cost of your ingredients, specifically the banana, would be about 15 or 16 cents. You see how this is an estimate? You don't need to calculate to the half cent. Do this for all the ingredients on your list. Done? Now, total the entire last column, column four, 
at the bottom of this worksheet. That, my friends, is the total cost of your creation, your dish. You have only one last calculation to make, and that is the cost per serve. But before you can do that, you first have to determine how many servings there are in your creation. This is likely a small number unless you were given and used 200 pounds of bananas, but that's not going to happen. Let's say your total cost of your creation, that is the total cost of all ingredients used, is $4.27 and you figure that your dish makes four servings. You simply divide your total cost by four and that is your cost per serving. In this example, we used 16 cents of bananas, 34 cents of corn, and we added some Kraft cream cheese, that was 98 cents, for a total cost of the dish of $1.48. You divide that by two servings, and that gives you 74 cents per serving. And there are the two figures you need as part of your presentation in the 4-H Food Challenge. If you practice, you can do this really, really quickly. So let me ask you this. How do you calculate your cost per serving? You think you got a better way? Post a comment below and click on subscribe to see some of our other videos. We also have some great playlists on our channel, D124H. For practice, calculate the cost of what mom or dad are making for dinner. Look at grocery receipts. Practice with those grocery receipts. Pull items out of your pantry. Look at containers. Look at what it would cost if you gave somebody half the container, and that will help you. Practice as a team so everyone knows how to do it. This will leave you more time to focus on creating that great dish. And don't forget, click like and share, and good luck.